Okay, so y'all want to hear something funny. As you know, I have Facebook and YouTube, and I just woke up out my bed or whatever. And you know, some people got funky breath when they wake up, but I don't. So look. <sighs> Didn't fog that up not one time. Trust. But anyway, look. What about this silly ass minister, so called minister, send me a message on my Facebook, and I want y'all to know what it is. He says, I'm not gay or a TV, and I respect you right to be to be so, but as a minister, that lifestyle is not one that I wish to associate with. It is a choice which I understand, however, that choice can be changed. If you ever want to change, let me know. Be blessed. First of all, you a stupid motherfucker. And I just and I say this to a lot of people. But ministers don't judge people to me. I feel that he's throwing judgment. I never said on my Facebook profile that I was gay. Nor did I promote a gay image or style on my file. I didn't say nothing about it. So what it was is you done took your happy ass researching me to find out some stuff because I ain't told you nothing about me. So how can you be a minister of God if you throw judgment? Because I think and know, because I was raised Baptist, I ain't no damn fool, that um, to judge someone is a sin. So what did I do that at? And don't you think if I felt real bad about myself and needed to talk to a minister, I would try to talk to someone that was real about theirs? Sounds here that if you understand the lifestyle, you must be a part of something because you know more about it than I do. Because I never told your ass I was gay. Mind you, I have my different beliefs when it comes down to this. I believe God put everybody here for a reason. And I think that we have a lot going on in life. Um, a lot more things that are more important than what someone's sex and race and religion is. And if you're going to stop at 7 28 in the morning to bust out with some damn uh, I'm a minister and I respect you but can't do this and that you sound like one of them motherfuckers to be on TV getting caught getting their dick stuck and stuff um, in parks and being cheating on their wife and stuff with other men but you got to be fucked up because I'm not trifling and um, I just think he's phony so what I did was I blocked his ass you know, if you want to block somebody on Facebook, you just go to block, and they won't see your number anymore on anything. It'll show nothing. But what I told that ass was, I said, well, I don't understand what my Facebook or style has to do with you being a minister or a so-called reverend. Because nothing in my page profile has anything to do with, uh, with sex or with my sex. So, I only, so the only thing that I get from you is judgment because I never said anything about who or what I am in my profile. And from that, I don't understand how you can call yourself a preacher. And I said, I was told in the church I was raised in and still go to, to be in fact, um, uh, was, to ju was to judge not something let me see what I say. Was to judge is not something that a minister would do. So I agree with you. We do not need to be friends because you judge before knowing, and it's not the kind of person I need to be helping me through anything in my world or my life. Wow. You never know. I may have been asking for your advice to change something about myself. You never know what I actually could have been asking you. But thanks anyway for just being you because I have a great story to tell my friends about a phony minister who loves to put people on, on point and try to throw judgment on God's loving children. One, before talking to them. Two, before getting to know them. This is my last note to you and my first note to you. I promise there will be no more um, conversations or notes coming from this page. Thanks again for just being you. Enjoy being and thinking that you know more than you need to know. P.S. There's something wrong with you. You need to talk to a minister about it. So, I don't throw, I don't throw judgment on people because I don't have time for it. 
but I don't lie about who I am either. And I think it's sad when a lot of people try to throw their beliefs on somebody else. When it's time for somebody to want to change, they're going to change on their own and they're going to ask you for help. If you're truly so careful and you want to care about what other people are doing in their life, you would stand beside them to try to promote them to come out and talk to you and change their life. You don't have to sit there and just throw your judgment out. You have to listen before someone can to tr someone can trust you and want to change. I don't know. I still give my reverend hugs and kisses in church and stuff. And he's married. And he's a very nice reverend. And I don't even live a true gay lifestyle because I don't do a lot of stuff that gay lifestyles do. But I know a lot of gay people that actually want to hurt their self and kill their self because they're trying to impress people in church and stuff like that. And that's because of petty ass ministers and people to be judging folks like, you know who you are. I'm over it. Y'all need to come up off that shit. Learn yourself. Know who you are. And then build your little ass up and then try to come and get people. You do not have an all brick house, boo. Your house is made out of nothing but glass. And that's what's going to get rock stone all through that bitch. Being phony and try to come for people. He got the right one on this one. But on my profile, it doesn't say my sex. My profile don't say what I'm looking for. Because I'm only on there to promote my style. Which may be an outgoing gay person. But never do I say it on anything that I do. Because it just wasn't my, it's just not how I'm trying to be presented to people. I want to give a, a different image. Hmm. And I wanted to click on his pictures and be nosy because I know he probably lived in his mama's house and he probably just got out of jail and all that old shit. But I'm like, you came to look at my shit. What were you looking at me for? I'm over it. Good day, BB. Love you.